Salwate, this is Jeff. This is David. We're going to kill the four kings. Yay. The hardest boss in the game. Yes. Or it used to be until you realize that you can just kill them pretty easily. Yeah. With an effective strategy. Uh, it's definitely the hardest boss on subsequent new games. Is, yes. Uh, so this is a longer video. We're going to fully explore the styles and methods here. Okay. Uh, first, we'll start off by what I call the circuit here. Right. If you, let's say, you're tired of getting hit by ghosts and you don't want to use transient curses. Right. This is a good way to get all the way through New Londo to drain it uh, without using any weapons, as you can tell. I, I do not have any weapons or, you know, because they're not going to do yeah. any good. Yeah. Yeah, unless you have, like, the Moonlight Greatsword or something like that. I'm using Wolfring and Havel's boots just to have a little poise, poise so yeah. I can roll through some stuff. Now, you want to juke right so that that ghost that's blocking the door moves slightly to the right so that you can go around its left side. Right. Um, and then continue to run. Running is important in yes. this strategy. Uh, go through the fog door. There is actually a ladder shortcut that you can kick down. Bet you didn't know about that. No, I didn't. So there's a shortcut there that does horrible things to the frame rate, by the way. Oh, so that wasn't the capture. That was... No, that was no, that, that's the game. Oh. Uh, that is a shortcut. If you can actually get there. Uh, although after it's been drained, you don't need that really, that shortcut for any reason. Oh, well, uh, boo. But sometimes it's hard to get to that point. Uh, now we need to put on a little bit more armor. <laughs> just, just a little bit. It's just Havel's chest plate. Yeah. I still want medium medium speed, but we're just going to barrel on through here and ignore everybody. Ignore right. the Banshee um, and start climbing through life. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Now, this, there's an element of luck to this climb here. Right. Uh, because sometimes they will uh, ride up on you a little bit faster than normal. And they can, uh, if they can break your poise, they can uh, knock you off the ladder. Ladder. And then you're dead. Which is bad. Well, yes. It's all Ingvard. <laughs> Well, that's his the name. Key. Standing guard over the abyss. So we got our key to the seal. Now we need to successfully make it back down ladder, which is a little bit easier because we can just slide down it. Right. And if uh, there's still plenty of ghosts down there. Oh yeah. Because you still didn't quite kill dangerous. Any of them. Now roll like crazy. Oh, no. ah. That wasn't a roll. That was a that was a an attempted roll that happened a little bit too soon after a, a uh, running start. Right. Uh, but after that, you can uh, just go down there, go around the corner, and we're pretty much home free. Great. Awesome. That way is the quickest way that i found to just get through and uh, drain New Londo. This horrible, horrible place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't like New Londo. <laughs> Although it is full of uh, dark wraiths to farm. Yeah. We'll be doing some of that, too. Well, that, that actually, that part I, I don't mind so much. It's just yeah. dealing with enemies that are immune unless you use an arbitrary item. Don't like that so much. All right, everything's been drained. Fantastic. Uh, oh, yeah, I remember this. this is, I forgot to stick this in earlier. Uh, oh. This is uh, to get the uh, Firekeeper's soul here. Oh. Uh, I choose my own death. Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> uh, that's actually a shortcut since it'll start you right back next to the Firekeeper anyways. Oh, yeah, there you go. So. Okay, now let us do a little bit of farming because we need some we need some extra equipment before we're going to fight right. kings. Tight night chunks so this for is the a, win. Just a quick little... Uh, there's ten dark wraiths you can fight down here, so mm -hmm. we'll go through, you know, most of them. There's two chunks, two tiny night chunks. We're collecting chunks, right, 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 because we want to upgrade our halberd to plus five. <laughs> Drag doll. There's two chunks that are in treasure chests, and then mm -hmm. uh, you have a pretty high. You want to use the, of course, the uh, serpent ring yeah. to increase the drop rate. And if you and then this guy gave me a slab. What? I know, right? What? I don't even want a slab. I already what? have a slab. This is the. It's because it knows ah. I don't want it. I killed so I many of these guys for one I've of I've played those. this game for 450 hours, and this is the first time I've seen this lab. So do do what you will with that information. <laughs> uh, 450 hours. Or maybe like 400 or so. Many hours <laughs> have been spent playing this game. Wow. It's a pretty good game. It, it, enjoyable. Uh, yeah, it's enjoyable good. video game. All right. Okay, so we have play. all we really needed, because we were already at plus two, was just seven in order to get to plus four. And then the slab is for plus five, but we got that from the uh, straight demon. Yeah. So. No, no, no reason to worry about farming for that stuff. So we have our maxed out halberd, halberdurd, halberdurd. Try it out on this guy. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, he didn't survive that battle, by the way. <laughs> no, Just no, saying. he didn't. Because <clears throat> I'm a horrible monster. Yes, you are. These no, things he, happen. He's kind of a negative Nancy, so it's okay. Yeah, he's a negative Nancy. I don't feel so bad. Yeah. Uh, so. 
here's uh, the, the first attempt at the Four Kings. Now, I'm not going to call this one a serious attempt because I'm going to warn you against what's about to happen. So don't do this. Okay. Now I'm in human form, which means you can summon help. Right. Uh, by riding up this elevator here. Actually, send it back down just in case you want to use it again. Right. Uh, we can fall off here, the side, right here, roll when you land, because the ghosts will be after you. And here is our friend, Witch Beatrice. Beatrice. You can yeah. summon in. Uh, don't do this, because Beatrice is terrible. Yes. She is bad at the game, and you should feel bad about using her. Uh, I had to cut out a bunch of time here while I was just waiting for her to get into the stupid boss room. Right. So I'm just going to kind of sit here, just twiddle my thumbs. And when she finally does show up, you know, right about now, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Decided to wait naked, because why not? Uh, she's going to spend a whole lot of time uselessly firing magic at the wall. Like, that's kind of technically your fault for not killing everything. No. 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 Uh, now, she'll eventually get hit by the ghosts, which she can't damage, and fall off right about... There we go. Finally. That produces results. No, I have to sneak past it. Uh, anyways, the reason you don't want to use her is because all of the kings have more health huh. when you bring in extra people. Now, since it's such a DPS race anyways, also, they do a lot of damage. Yeah. Uh, their swords do. So, do it alone. It's actually easier. Hmm. Uh, less health means you can kill them faster. Which is the Although point. Although, I'm, I'm glad that I captured Beatrice's last moments there. Yeah. Uh, okay, so now, serious attempt. All right. You need the crest uh, or the Covenant of Artorias, naturally, because okay. otherwise you die when yes. you're in the abyss. And the crest shield. We're going to be using the crest shield because that's a super great shield. It it's is. still not upgraded. No. And, like, we have a plus 10 eagle shield, but it's not going to do better than the crest shield will for us yeah. this time. And, uh, and hat just and enough havels so that I can still have medium roll here. Right. Okay. Medium roll is important. And I'm also using wolf ring as my second ring. Just for extra poise. Right. Now, you want the poise just to be able to, you know, tank some hits. Or, more importantly, if you're trying to heal, you don't want to be interrupted. Right. That's bad. Uh, so, let's get started with this. We will learn all about the different attacks that the kings can do. Which are... Uh, they're numerous. There's actually... Unfortunately, I did record this like fight like three or four times, but they didn't use one of their attacks, which is the homing soul mass, where they shoot out eight different... Really? They didn't of magic use that at on once. You? No, they didn't. Huh. They, they spam their other long-range magic attack. Uh. Uh, also recommended, but not necessary, is a green blossom or some sort of stamina regen. You can always right. use the grass crest shield on your back and mask of child and that kind of stuff. Uh, because you want to do damage fastly. Very fastly. You know, yes. So just run right at him. So the overhead slash. This is the easiest one of their attacks to, to dodge. Yes. The reason you want to run straight at them is you want them to use a close range attack, not and one of their not magic. Not the long range. Yeah, the long range magic blasts. That one's easy to dodge because it's just straight ahead. Now that is the start of a magic attack. That's the AOE burst. Now when they spin up like that, there's two things they can do: the grab or the burst. Yeah. Now the burst, as you can see, is trivial when you have the crush high shield. magic block. Also, Havel's great shield will block basically all that. Or the puppy shield. Here's the next attack, which is the double horizontal slash. That one's easy. Actually, it's easy to dodge by just rolling into the slashes. Like, especially the second slash. Just roll into it, and you'll, you'll skip right Oh, through. okay. Um, and then after, after that, you know, just double hand your lightning halberd. And see, like, roll, and then roll back to the other way, and then you'll be good. And then just double hand that halberd, and they're dead. First guy is dead. Four what? hits. What? Four hits. Lightning Howard plus five. It's pretty good. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. And then I had to wait for the next one to appear. So again, run straight at him. And uh -oh. then he's still around the other way. Hey. Oh. Okay. That one <laughs> caught me off guard because he was pointing the wrong dire direction. Uh, so this is another... I don't see this attack very often, but it's a double overhead. Um, oh, okay. The second attack has a long spin to it, so it'll end up going a lot further than it seems. Uh Oh, there's a thrust attack. Yeah, the thrust. yeah. The thrust is another medium long range attack that they like to do from time to time. Um, it's good when they use it up close because, again, it's easy to dodge. Yeah. Uh, also, the sword blade will do probably about five times more damage than the hilt. And if you're close to them, the hilt is what will hit you. Like, oh. I mean, like get right up on them. I, uh, it'll I, only be their hand that hits you, not the sword blade. So you're already taking much less damage. I, I honestly did not know that they had different damages for point-on weapon. Well, now you know. Things, so now I do. Because, uh, yeah, the sword blade will cut you up. 
fast. <laughs> yeah. We got two down. Uh, actually, there's more than four kings. They just keep respawning infinitely. Yes. Okay, so magic deck. This is what we uh, this is what we brought the crest shield in for. I mean, it'll block the physical damage, but you really just kind of want to either tank it or avoid it. Yeah. Because you want to be doing damage. Yeah. So you want to run straight into this. That's what you want to do. See, and you see the, the crest shield had enough to block the thrust as well. Yeah. Because, you know, physical damage. It's yeah. Right. yeah. It'll be fine. Uh, now I'm just trying to get him to use his other magic attack, which, again, I already said that oh, he ended up so not nice. using, which I was kind of sad. So there's the grab. Huh. There you go. Number seven. Uh, we'll see the grab later. Okay. Actually, on purpose, because I was like, oh, he didn't do the grab attack. Sadness. <laughs> uh, if you see him spin up when you're right next to them, you can immediately just start running away, or you can right. do a double, or it's either double or triple roll. So roll aside, roll aside again. Okay. Stab. All this, Stab. these habits that I picked up from doing the no shield runs, which is actually the strategy is not that much different here because I'm no, only using really the crest shield just to block the magic damage yeah. uh, from the, the the burst and the uh, homing missile. So patiently waiting for the next guy to appear. Yeah. Uh, no shield. I will say no shield run was. Brutally difficult. I mean, your Bowie run was retarded. No, that was, yeah, that was retarded. <laughs> it's dumb. But well, whatever, you, you, you do a surprisingly it. large amount of damage with plus fifteen black bow of Ferris with six fifty decks and large arrows. Yeah. All right, so let's run right into that again. It is really there hard to, du to to dudge to judge distance. Yeah, and to scale. dudge dudge distance. Yeah, judge just yeah. <laughs> These guys are really really big. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> they're they are surprisingly large uh, compared to your little dude. Uh, oh, look, there's yeah, another and then one. Finally, another one came in. Uh, now, this is uh, is important now. When you're in melee range of the kings, uh, the other ones are less aggressive. They will not bother you. Really? They will kind of hover around uh, in the outskirts. Now, they're less aggressive. That doesn't mean they're completely passive. Right. So it kind of gives you a chance that you're getting ganged up on. Right, right. Because uh, otherwise, it's really, really hard. If you can't kill them fast enough, they'll just keep appearing. Right. Uh, now, as you can see, they got one hit left. Like, there's no health left on those guys. Right, right. So now I'm just kind of playing with them because I really wanted to see the stupid... Uh, homing missile. Yeah, the homing missile attack. So this time I run into the grab because I was like, oh, hey, they do the grab. All right, we'll use the grab attack. Now, the grab attack is very useful if you are playing with other people. Right. With phantoms, because they can still take damage while they're doing the yeah. grab attack. The four king itself does yes. not take damage, but the overall life bar yes. does. The overall life bar, uh, and, and then you see there, if you see it, you can just dodge backwards out of the way. That's a legitimate strategy. Yes. Uh, and also, you're seeing that the other guys kind of just kind of, you know, hanging out in the background. Yeah, just hanging out in the back. Um, it's real disappointed they wasn't using his other attack here. Uh, this this fight is over, by the way. There's a third one. <laughs> now I'm just punching. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just now a, you're just being a dick. I'm just being a dick. <laughs> like, hey, what's going on there? Oh no, you stabbed me. I'm gonna punch you. Do you uh, punch you, you him to death? Uh, no. Aww. That little sliver is still a lot more than two, what, two at a time is gonna accomplish. Yeah. Right? Unless you want to do the uh, asylum demon again. Yeah, yeah, not not particularly. Oh, oh no, you grabbed me again. Uh, fortunately, grab does a lot less damage than it used to. Yeah, they they See, that's they, not so bad. They nerfed so bad. that just a yeah, touch. Yeah. Uh, oh, I guess it goes without saying that uh, bring in twenty Estus for this fight. Right. That's the best way to do it. You can always use heal. You can heal with humanity as well. Uh, but the Estus is fine. Mm -hmm. I only used like five in that whole fight. Yeah, so. I, I. Yeah, four kings are dead. Yeah. Uh, now that seemed a little bit easy. So now we're gonna do it naked with only a halberd. And, and and the wolf ring. Well, I guess also the Covenant Notorious. So yeah, well, you yeah, have to have, have that to one. Have that one. Yeah, that's. I died once because of that. Yeah, Both everyone you does. and your brother were, were everyone there, does. and you laughed at me. I did. I laugh at you often. Uh, so this time we're going to fight uh, with our our naked, undead self, our bacon -y self. Yeah, bacon -y self. This sort of also is a way acts as a video of how to do it without a shield. But again, the last one was kind of like that too. Yeah. It's it's really you, you without Died? a shield you kind of have to uh, yeah that was the one we saw earlier oh okay with the human thing right uh, so this just means you have to roll through their attacks more often than not um so not like that uh, well you want to roll through the bladed attacks and then uh, you want to tank the ones that are up close right then, right right yeah, okay so okay. like look he's dead first one's dead whatever right. and that's no a, big deal a few seconds dance it 
Dancing in the abyss. Dancing in the abyss. Whoosh. Also, the music here is the music that is featured in the intro of the boss videos. So it is my favorite, I guess, is one way to put it. Roll to the side. Roll, roll to, to the, the side, side again. And then and then hit them when they're recovering. Roll to the side. Hit them when they're recovering. Oh, he's doing a thrust. Oop. Now he's dead. Huh. What? Come what? down, son. So yeah. this was uh, surprisingly a little bit easier because I it took a long time to learn how to fight them without a shield. Mm -hmm. uh, but then once you do, it actually makes fighting them with a shield much easier, obviously. Oh, yeah. Um, so as long as you're doing damage with a good weapon, you can also use fire weapons. Yeah. Uh, lightning plus five is if, sufficient. You if know. I remember correctly, the first time I killed the four kings, I just used great combustion with a crazy That is also, uh, yeah. Okay, unfortunately for magic, you will just have to tank it. Yeah. Uh, fortunately, they, they can't hit you when you're down. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be horrible. That'd be awful. That'd be terrible. <laughs> you're retarded. Um, if you're low on health, feel free to... Um, see, like, that That thrust got me. The blade got me on that one. Feel right. free to um, only attack maybe once. And then Estes. Yeah, so you have enough stamina to dodge away uh, should the need arise. Right. Uh, now, unfortunately, the last part doesn't go as smooth because they decided to start spamming magic attacks. Oh, god! So, but, well, at least give me an opportunity to show you how to successfully dodge the AOE burst attacks that they like to do when you're up close sometimes. Um, also, sometimes they like to um, float away from you. Right. And that's sort of... If that happens too often, that's just bad luck. So, if you see them spin up, just run. hold the run button and run straight away from them. Like this. And then just run right back. Yep. No big deal. Uh, two and a half, I think, rolls will get you out of the way too, but running also is effective in this case. And running I tend to trust a little bit more. Yeah. I always like it when they have the slow wind up on the overhead slash. It's so easy to dodge and it leaves them open. It's like, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, still have one hit left. Uh. <laughs> we got to wait for another one to appear. That's all right. Oh, of course. Oh, there it is. We're going to do a pro dodge here. Shoot magic. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. You can just stab me with your sword. I don't care. I'm going to roll right through that crap. Both of them. Uh. <laughs> there you go. Four kings are dead. Again. Again. They are dead. They are super dead. Double dead. Quadruple dead, I guess. Yeah, quadruple dead. Well, I mean, they're octuple dead. Octuple dead? Octuple dead. Octuple dead. Go with octuple dead. Octuple dead. 